Hello, party people. So don't mind the state of my room. Um, but if you're new to my channel, my name is Caitlin. And today we're going to be talking about how to travel when you're broke or if you just have a budget or if you just want to save money. Any of the reasons that you could possibly want to travel on like a super low budget. I personally want to travel on a budget because I want to travel long term, like over months instead of just like a week and I can spend whatever I want. But I want to like pace myself and be able to travel like long term. That's the reason I kind of got into this in the first place. But I wanted to share all the things that I found because I feel like a lot of other people are curious on how to travel with a budget or don't know that you can travel with a budget super easily. Or know that like how low you can go. Like you could travel with like five, six hundred dollars for a long time and be okay. I don't know. I think it's something that everybody wants to do. Everybody always says, I want to be able to travel the world. Like, oh, that's my dream. Um, you know, just everybody wants to travel. Nobody wants to stay in one place. And I think not a lot of people know how attainable that is and how if they really learn these tips and tricks, it is really attainable and it can be their life. First, I just want to start off by saying that it's not always going to be glamorous and it's not always going to be the fastest, easiest method, usually it's actually the slowest and the hardest methods that you're going to have to take to find the cheapest ways to get places or live places. But again, I've done it. I'm doing it again this summer and I know a ton of people that have done it too. So it's not the end of the world and the memories you're going to make doing the hard things, especially if you're traveling with other people, those memories are going to be like the most fondest and funniest when you get back. It's like a bonding experience. So, it's not the end of the world, but it's not going to be glamorous either. Shout out Grapefruit Bubbly. Not sponsored. Basically four big tips I have that I put together, like the biggest things that help me and I feel like can translate easily to other people. So starting off, we have travel with the least amount of things possible. And I know when you hear this, you're going to be like, okay, like... How little? I literally, I'll show you in a second, I literally am taking just like a backpack, like something that can be a carry-on. I don't want to pay for luggage fees, luggage fees do add up, and that's like so much money that you could just put towards like housing and food and other stuff, plane tickets, um, that you shouldn't be spending on luggage costs. Like, you can fit everything you need in the backpack, I promise you, people backpack all the time, but... The things that really help me are like compression, like the, um, what are they called? Compression packing cubes. I'll link some on my Amazon storefront that I really like. Oh my gosh, there's a really cute chipmunk outside. But I'll link some on my Amazon storefront, but they really, really help and they make it super attainable to have like such a small wardrobe with you. Um, another big tip to pack minimally is to have like a capsule wardrobe. So wear things that you feel comfortable in doing anything in that can translate easily from like walking around during the day to going out at night or things that can be used multiple ways. Or if you're packing a jacket, just pack like one, pack like your favorite of each type of things, so, like your favorite shorts, only bring one pair of shorts, your favorite pants one pair of pants, that type of thing. Um, when it gets closer to me leaving, I'm gonna make a video of me packing and like my process for that, but I won't be leaving until like August probably, so it'll be a little bit. Make sure capsule wardrobe, you don't need to pack everything if you think that, if there's like a piece that you're debating on, you're like, oh, I kinda wanna wear this for like a picture, or I want to like bring this for one specific thing, if you can fit it at the end after you've gotten everything else and bring it if it's just one thing but I challenge you to not bring it and see if you actually want it or need it and if you do actually want it or need it then go to like Zara or Forever 21 or something or any like normal like a store in the other country and buy something that you would want to wear or like support the local businesses there you know capsule wardrobe and packing cubes and keep everything in a carry-on size and the smaller airlines which I'll get into 
they usually don't even allow you to have like checked luggage it's just carry-on and sometimes they don't even have let you have a carry-on technically but whatever um they don't have like checked luggage so you have to only bring a carry-on to get the cheap flights but i'll show you the bag that i'm gonna be bringing this is my baboon to the moon bag i saw the ads on tiktok like a year or two ago and i literally couldn't get it out of my head i was like oh my gosh this is literally perfect it's completely waterproof on the outside and the inside and it has like these two straps that make it into a backpack so you can carry it like this or you can carry it like this or there's like a handle on literally every single side so no matter what way you want to carry this thing you can do it there's literally a handle everywhere and this is the small size so there's like a mini a small and a big and the big one is like checked baggage size and the mini one's like super tiny but this is the one that fits as a carry-on but it's still like pretty big this is the inside i have stuff in there but this is the bag i'll be bringing i'll be traveling for like two or three months in the summer so yeah just so you know it's super attainable to do this and on their website it says only it's like recommended to pack for a weekend but if you use the compression cubes it's a lot longer oh on to the second thing i use apps like kayak and hostel world a ton basically every single flight even if it's not for like cheap travel i book through kayak i love kayak they always seem to have the cheapest and it's just like the easiest app to navigate that's not like a like delta or something it's super easy. It tells you the cheapest and the best flights, which is pretty common, but I just love it. It always seems to be the cheapest and I've always had a good experience with it. Um, another thing I use is Hostel World. I don't stay in hostels that much just because I usually travel with my boyfriend and if you're traveling with two or more people, it's usually sometimes cheaper to just split an Airbnb in some places, so that's what we do. But if you're traveling alone or you don't want to split an Airbnb or you like want to meet people, then Hostel World is a great opportunity to do that. They have like a million trillion different hostels in like every country and every city. Um, they have like photos, they have reviews, they tell you all the amenities, they tell you check in, check out, they have a whole description, a whole about page, the exact like address, everything you can need to know and you can sort it by like party and like the activity level of the hostel and what they're known for um it's great it's a great app it's the only app i've ever used for hostels i don't know if there's other ones but that's like the only one i know of and i've never had a bad experience on there either there's a ton of great hostels and it is such a fun way to meet new people usually you can find a hostel for like 10 to 20 dollars a night which is killer sometimes a little less if you're like traveling in like southeast asia or something but usually they're super cheap and it's a great great way to meet people um again airbnb if you're traveling with like one or like another person or more it's honestly sometimes cheaper to just do that especially in other countries i feel like airbnbs can go for like 20 30 dollars and that split is like 10 to 15 dollars each or less so it's a great deal and then you get like a private feel you don't have to worry about your stuff really like in hostels you usually have to have like a lock if you want to secure something but you don't have to worry about that in airbnb because it's just you um and it's a great way to like live like a local that way you can like talk to your host and see like what's in the area that's good or just like things to do and you can like talk to the locals which is a good experience along the same line with these not all times of the year are gonna be cheap to travel so my biggest key is to just be flexible um or if you if you don't have a set destination and that's even better i usually don't really have a set destination i just kind of go wherever's cheaper so i'll go on like 
Google Flights or Kayak has the same feature where you can just like go on the map and see like and, like zoom into all the cities and see what's cheap and what's not. And so that's a great way to see like where to go for the least amount of money. You never know, like you could be having Paris in mind and it's, you look at the flights, it's like $500 to go to Paris. And then you're like, oh dang, that's a little bit more than I was expecting. So you go on like the map and you see Amsterdam, you can fly there for $200. So it's like, oh, well I'll just go to Amsterdam and then take a train or a bus or whatever. It's like, you never know, just be flexible, be open, allow the, allow the universe to take you wherever you need to go and it'll be fun. You make it fun wherever you are. So wherever you are, you'll make it fun. Third is to volunteer. I feel like this is talked about quite a bit, but honestly not enough still. Um, you can volunteer to stay for free or free food on apps and websites like World Packer and Woof. They're great opportunities. I haven't done it yet. I want to do it this summer, so I can't really speak from experience, but I've heard a lot of stories about them, a lot of positive experiences, and basically how it works is you go on the website or the app, and you can filter by like country, city, whatever, and also like the type of work or volunteering you would like to do. So there's like normal like farm work where you can work with animals or work on like banana farms, or you can work, um, like teaching kids or there's like social media jobs or you can work at the front desk of a hostel or there's like party management which honestly is pretty common too so those are really really fun jobs where you just like plan the events for the hostel for that week that you're staying and you get free food free housing and get to go to all the cool parties that you plan so it's a great experience I have I mean I haven't done it I want to do it but it seems like there's nothing wrong with it and it's a great way to travel for like nearly free you just have to pay for your flight and like extra stuff that you want to do but it seems like a great great opportunity to save a lot of money and to travel long term like my boyfriend and i will probably like woof for a week and then pay for a week and go somewhere else and then woof for a week so you like work for a week and are free for a week sort of thing. So it really extends your trip and almost allows you to like double your time that you're able to travel. My fourth tip isn't really a money saving tip, but it's just a, a life tip. Don't always penny pinch. Um, I like to save a lot of money on flights, housing, flights and housing, and obviously luggage because I don't pay for it. Um, by saving on those three, you're honestly going to save quite a bit of money and then you can use the, that money to pay for experiences and food and like hanging out with people and just new experiences like you shouldn't penny pitch to the point where it's like why am i even here like what's the point of going to another country if you're gonna make all your meals at home because you want to save money you know it's like part of the experience is getting to eat new foods and try new things and meet new people and in order to do that you need to be able to spend a little bit of money to go to those places and do those things. So just don't focus on saving money all the time. Save money on the things that can save you a lot of money like flights, housing, and luggage. And the rest is just have fun. I mean, obviously don't go on like a huge shopping spree if you can't afford it, but just have fun. That's the whole point of it. So those are my three tips. Um, if you want another video similar to this, I can do another one or if there's any other similar idea, similar video ideas that you guys have, I can do this too. Like I said, I'm gonna do a packing video and I can, I'll link my packing cubes in my Amazon storefront. Um, but yeah, I literally, my dream is to travel full time, but I want everyone to see that cheap travel is really attainable. It's something that every, basically everybody can do. Um, as long as you can buy a plane ticket or find somewhere to take a bus or train, you can basically find a way to stay for free or no cost. But yeah, bye guys.